Kaboom! 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 Barnyard for the PlayStation 2 is... I mean, did you ever think of donating your body to... Uh... Weird. Now, obviously, we all know the plot for the 2006 classic film Barnyard, starring Kevin James. Don't worry, I don't remember it either. But from what I gather, that doesn't matter because Barnyard the game doesn't seem to follow the movie. In fact, it doesn't really seem to follow any set of rules. Let's just get into this bizarre experience. Well, get on with it, motherfucker. So what is Barnyard for the PS2? Well, it's a cow RPG. I'm not joking. You choose between a boy and a girl cow, then you choose your skin. Give yourself a name and step out into the wide open world of the farmlands, which features a place called Dankweed Pond. Clearly the studio given the task of making a Barnyard game were pretty quick to take the piss out of the whole thing, considering things like Dankweed Pond. And the concerning amount of gameplay centered around what they call squirting. Yeah, we'll get into that. So the first thing we do in the game is approach this pig who's called... Pig. Just pig. <laughs> That's me. Pig explains to us in an incredibly empty dead cutscene... That he wants us to find his apple pie recipe and then get apples and flour so we can bake a pie. This is some exciting sh Just kidding. What is it with these games and opening with the most boring task imaginable? I hate this f So once we've collected all the stuff, Pig cooks it into a pie and... Are you sure you want to leave the kitchen? I have never been more certain of something in my life. After that, we talk to this massive f***ing dog. This thing is almost the size of a cow. Then we talk to a Mexican stereotype mouse. My name is Pete. Be seeing you. Yikes. And then we are given the sunglasses. Now I want you to take a couple of seconds to think, what could the sunglasses possibly be for? What ability would it make sense for the sunglasses to give us? Whatever you said, you're wrong. The answer is of course, around here we wear them when we want to do a little milk squirting. Yes, wearing the sunglasses gives us the ability to squirt. What? Otis challenges us to go squirt six animals in the barnyard. Ew! Would you not do that? You just told me to. What the f*** did you expect? So a large chunk of this game revolves around squirting. The boss tells us we gotta wake up these sleeping cows. How? Squirting on them. It's time we learn how to fight. How? Squirting on targets. Squirting again and again and just... <laughs> what the f***? is this game? Let's see how good your squirting really is. <laughs> yeah, boy. Alright, what do we do other than squirting? Well, mostly boring <laughs> like finding eggs scattered around or finding more stuff for pig to cook. Why can't you find your own butter, you lazy f***? We get a bike, which is actually pretty fun. It controls terribly and the physics are a joke, but honestly, it's a fairly fun way of getting around the place. We have to sleep to maintain stamina. We have a phone that we get messages on. Yeah, this is basically cow GTA. Ah, oh, sh**. Here we go again. Then there's this mud mini game, which honestly is a pretty good time. And I found myself getting quite into it. Holy sh**, this is tense. Oh, there goes one. At least we're not the first down. There's another one. And then there were two. Bring it on. Come on, come on, come on. Yay, I won. No, but seriously, that was actually pretty fun. You know what? I could spend all day complaining about the list of weird or terrible garbage in Barnyard for the PS2, ranging from the lifeless cutscenes, the uncomfortable emphasis on squirting, the nonsensical mechanics, the stupid tasks, and so on. But in all honesty, it isn't the least fun thing I've played. The mud game is actually pretty good. The bike riding can be mildly exciting, and the open world RPG aspect of it means if you want to just do the things you enjoy, you can. Sure, you won't progress at all because most of the actual story is boring as f but at least there is a sense of freedom. I'll take this over Little Britain or The Sopranos any day of the week. Mother f And I've still got many more awful games to go through and maybe the occasional one I don't hate. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. I'll see you next time.